Now to a major ride sharing strike that's taking place this morning. Uber and Lyft drivers in major cities all over the country are turning off the app for all or part of the day to demand better pay and benefits from their companies. ABC's TJ Holmes is in Brooklyn with more. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning. 20 to 25 dollars an hour. That's what Uber and Lyft will tell you the drivers make on average. Drivers will tell you the reality is much different, even closer to minimum wage. So on the same week, investors in Uber are about to make billions. Drivers are making a point, and that could make for a frustrating day for commuters. Passengers who use Uber or Lyft might have a long wait time for a ride today. Drivers in at least 10 major cities across the country are shutting off their apps, demanding better pay and benefits. I came all the way from JFK. From JFK, they yeah. said. Well, no. Saibu has been an Uber driver in New York for three years and says recently his pay has been cut in half. They could not even feed their family. We have to stay out more time. We work between 70 and 80 hours. The main issue, pay structure. Strike organizers say Uber and other ride share companies can take what amounts to as much as 50% of the passenger fares. They want that capped around 20%. The strike comes on the eve of Uber going public and one of the largest tech IPOs in history, set to make its investors billions. What do you think about people making billions and your situation being what it is? Drivers are not making nothing. Without driver, this company don't exist. Uber tells ABC News, drivers are at the heart of our service. We can't succeed without them. Thousands of people come into work at Uber every day focused on how to make their experience better on and off the road. Sorry. So here in New York, 7 to 9, that's when drivers are going to cut off their apps right at the heart of the commute. But out in L.A., 24 hours, they're expected to be without many of their Uber and Lyft drivers. Michael. All right, thank you, TJ. It's going to make it a little bit harder to get to work if you need a ride. That's true. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.